right, guys, I'm coming in. Watch your butts. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Now, if you get near me, I'm gonna step on you because I can't feel nothing in these boots. I finally got some steel toes because I got tired of smashing my toes and my feet and then others stepping on me. Right, boys? I don't know if you noticed, but I added another, oh, six feet under the barnyard. I just needed more room. And uh, Zeus can't sleep in the goat shed with all the other goats because they just beat them up. So I added cattle panel and then Joe drove all the T posts and just did cattle panel all the way back to the where it was originally. Except last time it was on an angle. At the time it, you know, seemed like a good idea. But after having it that way for a year, I, I needed more room. You know, sick chickens and Zeus is in here and sleeps here at night. What are you doing? Hmm? I swear, she, she follows my feet everywhere I go. Hey, Blondie. What's up, girl? Somebody got you dirty. Everybody's molting. I'm lucky if I get five eggs. So, today I gotta move this house out of here. I'm probably just gonna put it somewhere over here just in case I need to use it in the, the winter time. You know, if I get a sick chicken or something that got a quarantiner, so. I don't want to move it now and then have to move it again in the snow. So this is the beginning of Zeus's little little house. Um, when I move this out of here and move this igloo, I'm going to be putting that facing this way against that cattle panel back there. So it'll help with the wind coming from this direction because there's a lot of it that comes from this direction in the winter. And then all the young ones are, they're still in this coop pen. Probably hear it in my voice, but <clears throat> I'm sick. I've been sick all week. Just a really bad head cold. Now it's in my chest. So, uh, look at him. No, I ain't got no food. Y'all, y'all just pigs. Pigs, pigs. Belle and Nell. I finally picked their name. I'm pretty sure my grandmother is the one that said it. I can't find the post on my Facebook where I asked for names. I'm pretty sure it was my grandmother. So Belle and Nell, they're so pretty. And then I need to come up with a different solution um, for Zeus eating in the morning when all these guys come out. You know, he's a lot smaller than these other guys. You know, they're just bullies to him because he's not big enough, so. I took this apart. I took the roof back off because the, the guineas and the ducks are now with everybody. So I was <coughs> able to pull this out, so I got to get this put up. The girls here, uh-huh, 
Yeah, I'm talking about you. Mm-hmm. They pulled off one of the little clamps I had down here. So I'm going to redo that. And then you can see this hole. And that's the one right there. Uh-huh. So I got to reinforce this thing again. I mean, they spend a lot of time in here. You know, why be cooped up in the house when you don't have to be? Got a lot of wood left and some of the branches left over from that storm we're still working through and burning. My son and his girlfriend have vacated the camper now, so we got to close that up. My daughter and I cleaned it the other day. I've been a little out of it um, this past week and a little bit of last week. Um, I am... I was trying to get my uh, CDL permit to drive school bus for my daughter's district. Um, and then last week on Thursday, um, I got my permit. So Friday I started driving and practicing. And then uh, Sunday night I got, I started feeling weird. I got, woke up on Monday and I was sick. So all this week I've been sick, but I've been driving and practicing a lot. Um, so it's a 77 passenger school bus, 40 foot long. Um, I've been trying to learn the route um, in the morning. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. So I've been um, driving school bus and, and learning. So I'll throw up a couple pictures that I've taken. I said some to my mom and my husband so um, I'll let you guys see those I hate taking pictures but I was so um, excited and proud of what I was doing and um, I just wanted to show them so I'll put some of those up and <clears throat> if anybody out there is um, in Illinois and they need to take the CDL um, test and stuff um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description that I use to help me practice for the test. Now in our district, um, person, <coughs> uh, he created some like practice test before I even went in for the actual test, the DMV. So I don't know if every place does that, but I, I would hope so um, to get the drivers ready. But um, I'll leave that in the description. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. And basically what it is, is what I've noticed is that if you pick up the CDL book at the DMV and you look at those little gray boxes at the end of like each small little, not chapter, but each little small section, they give you some questions in there. Kind of like if you remember back when you were in school, those, you know, textbooks give you a little review and sometimes the teachers would use it and sometimes they wouldn't but um most of these questions are from that book so if you read your book you have to read the book i implore you to read the book um a lot of the questions are on there so just make sure you read your book um it does have a school bus section in the dmv book but I mean, it doesn't cover every single thing. So when you go do your eight hour class in the very beginning to start the process, make sure you pay attention in that class and take notes. I did, um, and it helped me tremendously. So that was eight hours of information shoved down my throat. So I wrote down every single thing I could. Um, I practiced that, um, and I did all the practice tests for the, the actual school just so they could get you ready to go take the test. And then I went and took the test. So I did the CDL basic knowledge, the passenger endorsement, and um, the school bus test. So I passed them all the first time. That day, the very next day, which was last Friday, I was able to go and actually drive, so. <clears throat> but yeah, anybody's interested, and it's a really good job. Um, 
it's perfect for my life. I work in the morning, I can come home, and then I'm back in the afternoon. And then my daughter's the one that actually puts everybody to bed. So it, it works out perfect for me. You know, plus I still have these two Rottweilers who just turned a year old on October 2nd. You know, so I'm still doing a lot of things with them. And, you know, it just takes time for you to figure out, you know, how you're going to do things. Excuse me. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, if you have any questions, you know, you can ask me. Um, if I can't answer them, I'll try to steer you in the right direction of who can. But, I mean, majority of stuff is online um, or the... The website for the DMV but again this is only for Illinois so I mean I do know that this website you can put in you know your own state but I don't know you know like if you lived in you know Florida or Nebraska I don't know how well those tests are created for that state but I can tell you for certain that they definitely get you ready for the ones for Illinois so I'm assuming if they do that for Illinois I want to assume they do it for all the states, but again, you know, you should never assume anything. So, but anyway, hopefully it helps. Um, but yeah, that's why I've been kind of behind and, um, I didn't really want to announce it because I wasn't sure if I was going to pass the test or not. And I didn't want to, you know, put that on there and then be disappointed if I didn't in myself. So, but so I got one more week of training and then I go in for the big test to get my actual license. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, I got behind at home, you know, the laundry piled up and, you know, it's just, it, it just gets crazy. You don't realize how much you do until you can't do it, do it all. It's, it's very stressful, but, you know, I got it to where I'm doing pretty good, so... So I'm going to show you some of the stuff. Well, I'm not going to show you all my dirty laundry because I got most of it done already. But um I did figure out that <clears throat> I really really need a light in the barnyard. Because I'm going out, I'm coming out here in the morning, you know, before sunrise and I can't see squat. I got that um that headlamp, you know, the headlight on my head, but I got these two ducks and they, they get under my feet and I don't know. I'm just nervous about stepping on one of them. So, so this pole right here, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to move my sign. I'm going to move, probably move it down and over a little bit. Um, and I'm going to take this off. This, this doesn't work anymore, but I'm going to put a, an eight foot two by four all the way up it and I'm going to attach a light. So I read the reviews on this light and I also, I follow another YouTube, uh, Rocky Creek and he actually had a couple of these. If I'm not mistaken, I think he got the 5,000 lumens and I only got the, I think it's a thousand. But anyway, so I got that. <clears throat> Solar street light. <clears throat> so. It's daylight. Oh no, so it's 5,000 also. Eight hours a day. So, actually, it's a 5,000K LED daylight bulb, I'm assuming, the bulbs. And it's a 1,000 lumens, so. There's, like, two of them on here, and you can, like, angle them. So, I'm going to be attaching this to that 2x4 that, that I have over there. The 2x4, and I'm going to put it on the... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put it on the pole.
Decent, Jimmy. Decent. Okay, it's up at least. I don't know, what do y'all think? It's ugly, that's for sure. It's not straight either. But I don't care. I just needed to block the wind and the rain. Where did I think I'm also going to put another board in the front, but unfortunately I don't have one that long anymore. So I'll just do what I can now and then when I get another board to put in its place, I'll add another one. Okay, so hopefully I explained this correctly. My goat, Zeus, my male buck, um, he was living in the igloo doghouse that you've seen in the video earlier because he was small enough to fit into it. Well, he's obviously gotten bigger. He still can't be with the older goats yet, so this is an upgrade for him. Also, it's a nice place for the ducks to go into and the guineas if they choose not to go in with the chickens. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Everybody just kind of hangs out in here, including Luna. Luna does go in here and lay down with Zeus too, so just just so we're clear, he got an upgrade. This is the shelter I have so far. Obviously not done. Um, I gotta button up the top here the back corner, the other back corner, um, the rest of the corner here, a little bit under here, and then just above where I put this. So I'm probably going to put another piece of wood here when I can put the top plate on and then finish screwing everything down. It's not supposed to rain for another three or four days, so I'm pretty sure I can get it done before then. But so far, that's what I got. I know it's hideous looking, but I need it to serve a purpose. I didn't build it for aesthetics, so we'll see if Zeus likes it. Hopefully tonight. <laughs>